Hey up guys, it's your boy Karki back with another Dragon Quest episode. So, uh, last time we were going and finding where Jade was, uh, and it ended up being a big, stinky, dangly spider that was uh, manipulating Vince. And so we ended up defeating the spider, and then Vince was like, bro, well, I'll fight you for the uh, rainbow. And then we beat him up, and then the crowd went crazy. And then Rab, the old bastard, went and stole our rainbow that we just fought so hard for and decided to say, oh, come all the way to Dundrasil. So we are heading over to Dundrasil to him now. Uh, I said at the end of the last episode that I was going to do a little bit of grinding. Um, I've done nothing. <laughs> all I've done is, is just run around and collect stuff. So yeah, um, so let's go into Dundrasil. Let's see how this goes on. Do do do. Oh. Man. So this is Dundrasil. I'd heard the rumors about what happened here, but still, I never expected this. To think that not so very long ago, this was one of the world's great cities. And that it was reduced to rubble in a single night. The king and queen murdered by monsters. The princess of Heliodor too. The poor thing was only visiting. But I don't need to tell you this. They were your parents after all. Whoa, 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 what? So he's a prince? <laughs> no, I didn't do that from the start. <laughs> So where's the old guy from the tournament, anyway? And why'd he drag us all the way out here? Ah! Look! Those torches are lit! He must be in there somewhere, waiting for us! There's a big dragon. Let's go fight the big dragon. I vaguely remember grinding off this dragon or seeing someone grind off this dragon before. Oh, it's not a bad XP gain, 656. Pretty good. There's another one over there. Okay, nothing in this one. Anything over here? Yes, there is. Mine. Magic Beast Hide. Oh, Neil, we ran into him. <laughs> So we've got to go down here, got to go down through here, I'm guessing. But we look around still for a bit. Oh, okay, hang on. Aha! 
Oh, it's a tiny box. Oh, well then. You're a dick. You can kill it. No. See you later. See the life maybe it's gonna give me. Another one bites the See the skill. And that's a dragon scale. Okay then. So that's that done. Anything else? Got this one. I do not think there's anything else we can get. Well, I'm going in. What might be over here then, eh? I'm getting very nosy with this because there's apparently a staircase there. Aha! Always make sure you check the map, guys. Check the map. You never know what you might find. Mini medal. That's what you'll find. Really? That's all I'm gonna find up here. That's actually kind of annoying. <laughs> right. Time to go jump in the well. Always make sure you look around and check your surroundings. Okay. Nothing in here that I can get now. Okay. As Rab. <laughs> so you made it at last. Yeah. Is it just you? Where's your friend, the girl? Hmm. She has duties to attend to. She'll be glad you came, though, as am I. It's not like we had much choice. Now, where's the rainbow? We need it. Oh, you do, do you? I suppose that's because your pal here's the luminary. <gasps> Wait. How could you? I thought you died years back, laddie. When I saw that mark in your hand at the tournament, my heart skipped more than a few beats, let oh. me tell you. Don't tell me he's going to be your like, granddad or something. Now, come along. There's something I want to show you, if you'll indulge an old man for a wee while.
Oh. This place brings back some memories, sure enough. Look, are you going to tell us who you are or what? I'd already given up most of my duties by then. I spent most of my days in the city enjoying my retirement. Oh, we had us some fun. <laughs> <laughs> and then the monsters came, and I lost everything. When I was your age, laddie, this was one of the finest cities you could ever hope to see. And look at it now. One night. That's all it took them to tear it all apart. Ugh. Just listen to me blethering on. I, I was going to show you something, wasn't I? Come on. Why are you telling me, come on, when it's you? I was talking. Mm -hmm. Is this somebody's grave? Aye. This is where the king and queen of Dundrasil are buried. <gasps> oh shit. You mean. This is your parents' grave, laddie. Oh shit! The grave of my so he is his granddad. son in law. Wait, but that would mean you're his grandfather. Yeah. These two fine young souls died, and I survived. I came to believe there must have been a reason for that. That someone had a purpose in mind for me. So I set out to learn why Dundrasil was destroyed. I've been on the road ever since. I've uncovered some of the truth in my travels. It was King Carnelian, you see. He changed. We, we know. He once believed in the power of the Luminary more than any of us. But he became convinced that you were evil. That you were the dark spawn. Ah. He's not a man I knew any longer. Folks say he blames you for everything, even the death of his daughter. How could you, old friend? There's something behind it all. The fall of Dundrasil, the change in my old comrade. I promise you, I will find out the truth. Well, he's about to cry. Eleanor, my girl, Erwin, I found, I found your boy. Wasn't they lost to us after all? <laughs> They're alive, laddie. Against all the odds and... And now you're home. You've no idea how many times I've dreamed of this day. I never thought it would actually come. <sighs> Will you humour an old man a while longer? Yeah, of course. There's an old royal ritual, you see. It's to send the souls of the departed to a better place. I'd like you to help me perform it. There's an altar up in the hill behind the castle. I'll be waiting for you there. Awesome. Still don't. Pretty mad. How he's our granddad, and I called it. I what you called it just before. 
Oh, just like a Jocelyan. Jocelyan house and Jocelyan army. Nice, I wonder if they're really good. Also, I did see a sparkle. Aha. Yeah, boom. And the bubble. Boom. This way, laddie. Let's go, come on. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at that. Pretty cool. He would have told me to stop by now if he, if he couldn't have gotten ahead of him. She can be our sister or cousin or something then. Thank you, Princess. It looks just perfect. Wait, what? Wait, you don't mean... If the rest of you wouldn't mind standing back here with me, only members of the Drusillian royal family may perform the ritual. How come he called you princess? Are you? Quiet now. Oh no, he's the gonna. Is about to begin. She's gonna be the daughter of Cornelian. He literally he dropped the hint earlier, saying that he blames the Darkspawn for the death of his daughter. Jade is gonna be King Cornelian's daughter. Surely. You just follow my lead. All right, laddie. The souls of those who depart this life must all return to Yggdrasil. One life for each leaf of the great world tree. But those taken by monsters cannot return of their own accord. So our ancestors devised a ritual to send them on their way. The smoke guides them back to where they belong. To Yggdrasil's bosom. Each butterfly is a lost soul, and now they can all be at peace. Die in vain, Eleanor. You saved your boy and the princess. It was a noble sacrifice you made. Thank you, my beautiful girl. And goodbye. I hope you don't mind me asking, but your mother didn't leave you anything, did she? Oh, he's going to pull out the necklace. Oh, and the Queen's final letter. <gasps> oh, no. She didn't, did she? So this letter's why you went to see King Carnelian, eh? <sighs> if only she'd known. I'm sorry, laddie. You've been through so much. 
But I suppose if you'd not set out for Heliodor, the journey would never have led you to me, eh? Patreon. Oh. Heliodor. Oh, it's crying again. Poor Rab. Sorry, Laria. I'm going to need to be alone for a wee while. No worries, Rob. I got you. I got you, mate. I got you. Big up. Things would be a lot easier if we could just fly up to Igrisil like those butterflies. So, that was not time to be saying silly things like that. Yeah, dickhead. I think I think figured out who that girl is. It's kind of hard to believe, though. Okay, the Princess of Cornelia. That's what I'm calling it. Princess of Heliodor, sorry, not Cornelia. Cornelia's dad. Wasn't the Queen brave rescuing you the way she did? Veronica and I must have must learn from her example. After all, it's our job to protect you now. So, are they going to be cousins then? I think they're going to be cousins. That's my, that's my guess. Oh, darling, that ceremony was just beautiful. Your parents are at peace now, I'm sure. Lady Elena. <gasps> Who's there? You can cry. It's you okay. weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> I was just thinking about Lady Eleanor. I... I mean, your mother. It's okay. Why don't we take a little walk? Okay, why not? My mother was a rather sickly soul, by all accounts. She died not long after I was born. So, in a sense, Lady Eleanor was the only real mother I ever knew. She used to read me stories, take me flower picking. I loved her so much. You can imagine how happy I was when I heard she was having a baby. I couldn't wait to meet my little brother. Oh. You know, it was raining like this the last time I ever saw her. I can't believe how much time has passed since then. Hmm? Wait. Oh I'll shit! How are you doing, soldiers? Something tells me they're looking for you and your friends. And there's only one kingdom that can send that many soldiers out on a manhunt. Heliodor. How are you doing? Yeah. We need to get back to the others. And we have to fight our way through, do you think? But yeah, she said little brother. So, in a sense, they are family. It's just that Lady Eleanor was, yeah. Wait, how have they got behind us so quick? Where are the ones from the altar? No sign of them. What about the Darkspawn? No sign of him either. Blast! They must have gone away. It, it's him! <gasps> He's over here! The... Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Jesus. What shall we do? You're honest, like on chips. Sir Hendrik's orders were to bring the Dark Spawn back alive. He never said anything about anyone foolish enough to side with him. Just you try it. Expected to take her on alone, Sir Hendrick! Sir Hendrick! Come on, 
We'll head around the mountain and meet up with the others before he gets back. Let's go. Oh shit, here's Sir Andrew. I have you at last, Darkspawn. There is nowhere left to run. You are a slippery one, I will give you that. I had not thought you would make it this far after I picked up your scent in Octagonia. Darkspawn is mine. Deal with the girl. Forward. <laughs> this is all the dreaded child of darkness can muster. Pathetic. Dark spawn. The chase ends. He's gonna jump off. He's gonna jump off, ain't he? Hedrick! Don't you dare! Princess Jade? Surely not. No! Oh no! It's going off! No! Princess! Oh, she saved us! I won't let you go again. Oh. That's really cute. She's a badass, though, isn't she, Jade? And now he's realised it as Princess Jade. Does that change anything for Hendrik now? Does, does that change him? Hmm. I reckon Hendrik starts starts questioning his uh, his moral compass sort of thing now. Because he's doing everything that his king says, but then the princess is now defending the dark spawn. So I wonder if it changes his moral compass sort of thing. Oh good, you're awake. Mm -hmm. Oh, get back in, come on. You got a cold. I'm soaked through. Let's get warmed up, shall we? Oh, yeah. I... I'm glad I caught you. I couldn't have forgiven myself if... if it happened again. I suppose Rad must have told you about your mother, that she sacrificed herself to save you and the Princess of Heliodor. Well, you've probably worked it out for yourself already, but... I was that princess. Yeah. Your mother saved my life. That night, the night Dandrasil fell, we ran from the castle, but the monsters were too fast. She handed you to me and distracted them for long enough for us to get away. She died to save us. But even though she trusted me with you, I... I was too weak and stupid to... I fell in the river and... I let you go. I can't 
tell you how many times I've wished that it was you rabfished out of there and not me. After he found me, we headed back to Heliodor. We thought my father might help us to find you. But when we got there, we found out he was telling people I'd been killed by the Luminary. He was trying to make people believe awful things about you. Brab was convinced that he wasn't in his right mind, that someone must be controlling him. So we set out together to find out who and why. The Dark One. I never expected to see Hendrik again, let alone on the battlefield. We were lucky to get out of there alive. Hendrik does seem a rather big, like, beast. Like, I think, he, uh, yeah, he's the hero, isn't he, of Heliodor, so, makes sense. <gasps> well, surprised I haven't fallen asleep. Looks like the rain's dying down. We should head back to Dundrasil. Okay, then. Anything over here that I can use? So there's a save point and there's a chest. Haha. <laughs> Another mini medal. Come on, we've got to use mini medals for something eventually. Okay. Time to run back to dun 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 Oh, is that going to be Hendrik again? So I was right. I had suspected it would take more than a mere fall to put pay to the dark spawn. Sir Hendrik. been so many years since that fateful night, Princess. To see you alive and well, you cannot imagine how much this pleases me. But should you choose to continue to side with the Child of Darkness, you may not live for much longer. Look, I know how you feel about duty, Hendrik. How could I forget? You don't understand how important this is. Please, you have to let us go. Ask a sworn knight of Heliodor to disobey the orders of his king? You have been away from home too long, girl. Not long enough for the years to have changed you. Still loyal to a fault. I wish it didn't have to come to this. But it has. Uh, yeah! <sighs> Princess, the spirited young girl of old has grown into quite the warrior maiden. Oh, please, I'm not a child anymore. It'll take more than a pat on the head to distract me. And what will it take to convince you that I am deadly serious? That if you stand on the side of the dark spawn, I will have no choice but to destroy you. Yeah. Patrick. Princess. I'm sorry. Get on. Now hold on tight. <laughs> Princess, what have you become? What have you become, Hendrik? I know you're loyal to a fault, but you're following a dickhead.
There you both are. And in one piece, too. Just about. No thanks to Hendrik and his men. So it was old Hendrik, was it? I thought it might be. I would have liked a wee word with the rascal, but... Well, if even he's out for your blood, the forces of evil must have a stronger hold in Heliodor than ever. Uh, it wouldn't have been the first time a once glorious kingdom had been brought low by monstrous powers, you know. Many, many years ago, a dastardly fiend destroyed an entire empire with his wicked ways. A legendary evil named... Mordegan. His story is all but forgotten these days. I had to tramp halfway around the world just to learn his name. But the more I find out about him, the more I'm convinced he's the one behind all this. Dundrasil, the troubles in Heliodor, everything. Which is why you're gonna have to stop him, laddie. The fate of the whole world depends on it. Okay. You're the luminary after all. You were born to defeat the Da. But you'd be more than foolish to face him unprepared. He's a master of darkness, the like of which the world has never seen. Then we must make our way to Yggdrasil as soon as we can. The legends of Arboria tell of a means of fighting the darkness that can only be found there. Veronica, that must be why we're supposed to take him there, mustn't it? Here you are, laddie. It's yours at last. You'll be needing it if you're to make your way to the world tree. If anyone can get this old stick to show us the way, it's you. Lead on, Luminary. Parker's used a rainbow. Rainbow. Well, can you see anything? Nope. Don't tell me it's a dud. If that Noah sent us in a wild goose chase, I'll throttle him. He could have told us it didn't work before we wasted a zillion hours chasing it halfway across the world. He could have. Now, now, let's not jump to conclusions. Why don't Jade and I join you, and we'll see if we can't make our way a bit closer to Yggdrasil and try again. We'll not give you any bother. I promise. Rab and Jade join the party. <sighs> <laughs> hey, where to now? Search the world for a way to get to Yggdrasil. That's awesome directions. Ooh, you know what we're going to see though? If we can actually make the Dracilian howl meet an arm. Oh, hello. Huh? Hey, the branch, it's. Oh. Is that like six orbs that you're going to place down? <sighs> oh, darlings, did you see it? It was so pretty. A sort of platform floating in the sky and six colored orbs <gasps> oh, I think I understand we need to find the orbs and take them to the platform and then the path to Yggdrasil will appear maybe trekking halfway around the world to find that branch wasn't such a waste of time after all And we've already got one of the orbs we need, too. I knew swiping this thing from the castle was the best idea I ever had. I had my own plans for it. But this is way more important. It's yours now. Just don't lose it, okay? Okay. 
So we've got the red orb and you get black, white, green, blue, yellow. Something like that. Oh, there you go. Our prize from the tournament. Lucky we didn't sell it in the end, eh? Aye. And there I was, all set to swap it for a few piffling trinkets for the road. It's yours now, though, laddie. We've got the yellow orb, we've got the red orb. We just need to get the others. Now, it looked like that platform we saw was located right under Yggdrasil. That means it must be somewhere deep inside the first forest. Oh. So, we know where we have to go. We just need to find the other four orbs first. Okay. But where in the world would we even begin to look? Orbs. Orbs. Oh, I do remember a fairy tale about a giant pearl sinking to the bottom of the ocean. Can't remember the details, though. Well, if we don't have any real clues, I guess we'll just have to head out into the world and find some. Yeah. Uh, you're not wrong there. In which case, let's head for Puerto Valor. We can get out into the open ocean from there. A fairly straightforward voyage, if you ask me. And you'll be pleased to hear that I'm friends with Don Rodrigo, the big man over that way. I'm sure he'll open the sea gates for us. <sighs> oh. Hmm? Okay, there, right then. Let's get moving, shall we? He clearly knows the sooner Rodrigo. we get our hands on those orbs, the sooner we can make our way up to Yggdrasil. He clearly knew who Don Rodrigo was, though. Hmm. Could it be like a brother, a dad, something like that? I don't know. But he knows him. Right, we are going to go quickly check see if we can make the Dracillian armor and helmets. If not, we are going to go continue on with the Star Wreck. Oh, yeah, we need to make camp enter. Right, let's have a quick look see. Forge items. Forge armor. Helmet. Oh. I need a pl I need platinum ore. Oh, so I'm definitely not going to be able to make the armor then. It's a big jump for me as well, so Platinum Ore and Celestial Scheme. Ooh, okay. Let's have a quick look-see at the map. If we go rest, rest, and then... I should be able to check the map. Porto Varoa. I want to say we have got to then go to the open seas. Travel all the way over there. So, World map. Ah, yeah, we're going to go all the way to the left here. Okay. Wanted to collect that, butterfly wing. I'm going to go run to the port and we're going to collect any shinies we see along the way because why not? It's a shame that I haven't got the keys to open up these doors yet. I don't know what it is that you need though, but you must get something good from them. Do, 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 do. Let's run all the way down here, yeah, yeah. Yeah, ooh, we'll see a shiny thing down there. Wonder what that'll be. Wonder if I can buy the uh, items I need for crafting from like a local store or something like that. I'll have a look at that when we get to Port of War. Because making that Dracillian armor will be good. I believe. Maybe. We'll find out. Oh, wow, what's this? Can I, can I break this or what? I can jump over it. <laughs> okay, but I can't jump up that way, can I? No, don't think so. At least I can jump over it. I think I've already been down this way. So, yeah, you know what? We're going to go zoom. Uh, I guess I could go all the way down there. Um, Oh, 
I'm using zoom into the sea. I'm going to go straight into Porto of Vago. Go. And it's this one right here. Oh, there's an actual cave there. Ooh, I like that. Port over war, here we are. Oh, Costa something. That looks cool in there. Can we come and run in there? Oh, we can. Oh, just leads us over to there. Okay. That's pretty cool. Might do some exploring of this area in the next episode. I reckon. I thought we were going to go straight to the town. That's what. That's why I messed up here. Do, 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 do. Oh, 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 friend. Oh, don't. I did not mean at him. I did not mean at him. He's mad. He's big mad. See you later. He's big mad at me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please leave me alone. He's so angry. Get me in here. <laughs> right guys um, thank you very much for watching the next episode we're going to try and um, oh, hello. we're going to try and um, do some exploring of the coast, uh, the coast of Port of War or whatever it's called let's bring in towing men and I'll catch you in the next episode thank you very much for watching, peace out bye